In this video, I'll run through how to install Hyper-V on Windows 11 Pro. To check which version of Windows you are using, right-click on the Start menu and select System. Then, over here, at Edition, you will see which edition of Windows you are running. Here, you can see I'm running Windows 11 Pro. It's essential to stress that Hyper-V is only available in the Pro version of Windows or Windows Server. So long as you have either Windows 10 Pro, Windows 11 Pro, or Windows Server, you'll be able to follow along and install Hyper-V. Right, let's close this and get started. Note that you need to have access to a local administrator account to install and use Hyper-V. Come down here and search for Turn, and then select Turn Windows Features On or Off, and then select Hyper-V, ensuring that everything within the folder is also selected. Next, click OK. Windows will install the necessary files and prompt you to restart your computer, so click Restart Now. Once your computer has restarted and you've signed back in, you will find Hyper-V on the Start menu. Here, I've simply searched for Hyper-V. Now that Hyper-V is running, on the left-hand side you can see my computer, which is called HomeLab. This is now a host computer that can have guest virtual machines deployed on it. Once deployed, virtual machines will be listed in this area here. Any virtual machines that we deploy will need to be connected to a virtual network, which in turn will need to be connected to an actual physical network. To create the virtual network, click on Virtual Switch Manager. Then with New Virtual Network Switch selected, ensure that External is selected and click Create Virtual Switch. Assign a name to the new virtual switch. For this example, I'll call mine my vSwitch. You can add any notes you want to the virtual switch here. Ensure that external network is selected and then select the network adapter on your computer that will be attached to the virtual switch. I'm going to select this USB Ethernet adapter. Ensure that Allow Management Operating System to share this network adapter is selected. Right now, as the settings are, Hyper-V will create a virtual network switch for the virtual environment. It will also create a virtual network adapter for your Windows host machine. This virtual NIC will have the same name as the virtual switch, and it will be hosted on the Ethernet adapter selected above. Click Apply. A warning dialog will appear, warning you that the pending change may disrupt network connectivity. Click Yes. Hyper-V is now installed and ready to be used. Let's take a quick look at the Windows host network adapters. Open view network connections. Here you can see my USB to Ethernet adapter. If I double click it and then click details, notice how this is now blank. And when I click properties, notice how almost everything is now deselected. This means that the IP address for my Windows host machine is no longer on this physical NIC but instead on this new virtual Ethernet adapter that was created when I created the virtual switch. So this virtual Ethernet adapter is now the NIC that I use on the Windows host. When I double click it and then click properties, notice that most of the settings are selected. If I close this and then click details, you can see that it is this new virtual Ethernet adapter that receives an IP address from my DHCP server. Note that this virtual Ethernet adapter is somehow connected to the virtual network switch I created and my physical network via the USB to Ethernet host adapter. This means that any virtual machine that I deploy and connect to that virtual switch will reach my physical network via the USB to Ethernet host adapter. Join me in future videos where I will run through deploying a virtual machine and how to connect it to the virtual network switch.